<laughs> come with me for a second, drives all the way to the police headquarters. <laughs> I need to talk to you. Come with me for just a minute or two. 20 minute drive to the fucking... Iris, I'm going to ask you some questions. Please answer honestly. However, you do not have to say anything that might incriminate you. The right to remain silent. Can't can, can, can we make her incriminate like herself though? Not exactly. I'm just looking for the truth, and I would appreciate your cooperation. You used to work at Sunfish Pocket, right? When did you find out Renchu was killed? Does she know that yet? double check with oh do I oh I don't have it anymore because I'm in a different place that makes sense uh, let's start with Oda's story true here's what Oda told me yeah yesterday around 6 15 p.m. you and Renju came out of the Sunfish pocket building is that true yes mr. Okira called me and told me he wanted me to come to Sunfish pocket ASAP around what time was that 5 p.m. I think I got ready then headed over there. I guess I got there about an hour later. Date, I checked your call history. At 4.58 p.m., there is a record of a call to Iris from Renju's phone. Okay. All, all locks up with that. Uh, what were you doing with Renju, Renju? What were you doing with Renju? He asked me about a job. What kind of job? He rented out Sunfish Pocket for a party and he wanted me to MC. He said that it was an important party and that a lot of big shots were going to be there. But the girl he asked to do it originally got sick and couldn't come. But I turned him down. Why? Because I'm just an internet idol. I've never done any emceeing before. Especially with important people being there. Oh, you wussed out. What did you do after you turned him down? Uh... You used to work at Sunfish Pocket, right? I heard you used to work at Sunfish Pocket. That's right. How long? A little over a year. Working there that long, you're probably pretty familiar with the equipment. Yeah, I guess. So were you just nervous then about doing it? I'm not asking her about Renju until we get through the rest because I get the feeling she's going to be like, what? Renju's dead? And somehow she's missed that this entire day. But, so I want to give that time to Simmer. Uh, what did you do after you turned him down? What did you do after you turned him down? I left with Mr. Ogira. At 6.15 p.m. That must have been when Ota saw me. And after that? I asked Mr. Ogira to take me home in his car. I got home at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. I was home the rest of the night. What do you think, Iva? I'm guessing Mom could attest to that. I cannot detect any contradictions. However, her story appears almost too organized. Mm. Human memory is ambiguous. Her use of exact times leads me to be suspicious. That's true. Okay. Do you have an alibi for last night? Would that be pressuring her at that point? Also, I just realized, I know it's been auto-saving, but I haven't done a single manual save this entire time. And I I don't like playing like that, so. I want to just have that there. How long? Yeah, I've, three hours I've been playing this, I guess. I didn't even know I was playing it that long. Jeez. Or nearly three hours. Actually, yes, yeah, since we asked about the equipment, about the civilian surveillance camera. What about the surveillance camera? Surveillance. Do you know where those tapes were stored? What are you trying to say? Okay, so you know that, yeah, that's pressuring. I don't want to, well, what were you doing fuck it, seven if, to if she's already night. feeling a type of way. I was at home the whole time. You're sure? Yes. Iva, thermograph. There is no noticeable rise in Iris's body temperature. She isn't lying. Not necessarily. 
We must consider the possibility that she is a natural liar. With that kind of confidence, her temperature wouldn't change. Correct. Hmm. Oh, that's how Andrew's that works, estimated huh? estimated time of death was 8 p.m. last night. If well, I yeah, that's how people true, trick a lie detector, right? There is another possibility. Like, because that really just reads differences in heartbeat. Home, she could and, have killed and, like, nervousness. You mean... Can I ask your mother about your alibi? Okay. That one sound. Well, you know what? Now that it looks like she's asking about all of this, should I just go in with the when did you find it? Nah, I don't want to tell her. Because I feel like. Can I ask your mother about your alibi? Like, has she even mentioned anything about. Like, Renju being dead on her own? Yeah, like she hasn't mentioned in any way being like, oh my god, I can't believe this happened or something. So I don't want to give her the information that he's dead just in case she doesn't know yet and she incriminates herself. Can I ask your mother about your alibi? I'll ask again. You are sure you were at home oh, wow, at a.m. yesterday? Wow, that is hard. Yes. Big can I hard. ask your mother about your alibi? You can, but there'd be no point. Was she not home? Why is that? My mom wasn't home. She came back home early this morning. This morning? Yeah. Where was she? I don't know. You don't know? Come to think of it, Iris's mom had connections to Renju too. Hitomi did mention that yesterday. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. Oh, you... Wait. We've known each other for 20 years wow, now. Wow, all y'all went to high school together, huh? It's Hitomi, Renju, However, and Moma. However, we have nothing to link her to the case. But I am curious. What was Hitomi doing last night? Can I ask her that? Nope, can I ask her that? Okay, when did you find out Renju was killed? When did you find out Renju was killed? This morning, on the news. Okay, so she knows. And you were with Renju last night? You didn't think to call the police and inform them of this? Oh, sorry. Is that something you're supposed to do? I had a podcast to record this morning, so if I went to the police, I'd be late. And that would cause everyone a lot of trouble, you know? Girl, I swear to God. Well, I already don't trust... Iris Am because I of suspect? all the time nonsense. Not like that. It's like fun, the weird Dante. memories that Date it's has. It's true that I met with Mr. Okiura yesterday, but how do I put this? Mm -hmm. It's impossible that I'm the killer. Why? I'm a teenage girl. So? Mr. Okiura is a fully grown man. You're a teenage girl well, in she's Japan. Got a, point. a girl like her could have stabbed, poisoned, or shot him dead, but strangling? No, it's still possible. Yeah. You see. Oh, snap! I just could have killed Renju because... See? Wow! I wasn't expecting all... Wow, I wasn't expecting this. Wow, this is cool. Good thing I started thinking real hard about this. This goes back to me talking about, like... The fact that, um... I was checking to see if he had bruises other than where he was strangled. Because that could suggest how heavy and or big the actual killer was. Like, did he... Did they have the force to break his neck, or did they just squeeze his larynx shut? Uh, let's... Renju's estimated TOD is yesterday, around 8 p.m. Numerous hemorrhages in the blood vessels of the throat and face indicate strangulation. Yeah. The weapon used to commit the murder was some kind of twisted cloth. Mm -hmm. The criminal likely wrapped it around Renju's neck and pulled. Renju then suffocated. The more precise cause of death is cerebral circulation failure due to vessel closure in the neck. Okay, yeah. In short, Renju was strangled from behind with some kind of cloth or rope. So, yeah, that's... 
I want to say it's... Well, no, let's go through each... Oh, wait, yeah, the sedation. It would be the sedation. The autopsy discovered a high concentration of benzodiazepine in Renju's body. Because he was barely conscious, he couldn't fight back. commonly used as a sedative. It is likely that Renju was in a state of compromised consciousness before his death. I'm, I'm just going to go off that without looking at the rest of these. Unless it allows me to show several. Because it would be the sedation, it would be the fact that they used the elevator. And that he is kind of light. Let's check. Approximately, okay, that just is 160. Yeah, let's go with sedation. My dude could not do nothing. A heavy concentration of sedatives were discovered in Renju's body. Renju was practically in a coma before he died. He wouldn't have struggled. So, Iris could have strangled him. Wait a minute. Even if I was somehow able to kill him, the rest of it is impossible. The rest of it? Like hanging up his body? How do you know that? What do you mean? It's all over the news. That's true. Renju weighed about 160 pounds. Mm-hmm. Even if she used her entire body weight, I don't think she could have hauled him up. Right. It would be hard for her to do it with her strength alone. But with a little ingenuity, it could be done. Yeah, she doesn't need... Ingenuity? Well, the clue would show that. How could Renju's body be lifted up to the ceiling? Let's see. The autopsy determined that Renju vacated his bowels from muscle relaxation upon death. However, no trace of this was found on the corpse or at the scene. This means that it is highly likely Renju was killed elsewhere and moved to where he was found. Well, it's gonna have to deal with the, um, the bear, right? The kegs? Each keg wore, um, phew, each keg weighed 55, so that's why they used the three kegs to keep him down to keep him up but she could have just used those to lift him up in the first place like attach it hooked up put it through and then just drop the kegs off the counter and then he goes flying up but i don't see that here the oil drum inside sunfish pocket the type that has a lid you can open with about a 200 liter capacity. Empty, it weighs approximately 44 pounds. I don't think it's the oil drum, is it? Or is it suggesting that the oil drum connects to the kegs being full? Oh, oh wait, hold on. Did I do this? No, I didn't. Is it gonna be this one? Renju's corpse was discovered at the maid cafe. If it mentions the kegs, pockets, I'm picking the discovery one. Hanging from a beam on the ceiling by a wire. Mm hmm He was found over the counter. Yeah. The wire was attached on both ends. One end was attached to a hook that was embedded inside Renju's jaw. There it is. Jaw. Okay. The other end was attached to beer kegs found on the floor. Yeah. The kegs hold approximately 20 liters of liquid. They weigh approximately 55 pounds each. So it's definitely that one. It went like this. First, Renju was laid out on the counter. Next, the wire was thrown over the beam and connected to the hook in his jaw. Then all you need to do is put the three beer kegs on the counter. You think a teenage girl could have done that? Yeah. I'm sure it was hard. The kegs weighed 55 pounds each. But that's louder than that's 160. Not impossible, even for a teenage girl. Mm -hmm. I guess it isn't impossible. After that, you get on top of the counter. And push. Hook the other end of the wires to the kegs. And then, what do you think happens if you kick the kegs off the counter? The three kegs weighed 165 pounds altogether. Renju weighs five pounds less. Hmm. I guess that would make it possible. But... But there is one more thing. What? Let me incriminate her. Let's Considering do it. Considering the state of the crime Let's scene, it. it's clear Renju was killed elsewhere and brought to where we found him. True. If Iris is the culprit, how did she move the body? Hey! I know, <laughs> I know. 
You're going to say you couldn't have moved a 160 pound body. Nah, don't worry, I got you. Unfortunately for her, she could have. Yeah. How? Now that probably comes down to the elevator. But that, the corpse, that's how you get him upstairs. But it doesn't answer like how she got him anywhere else. But I'm just gonna double Sunfish check this and say it anyway. Is located on the second floor. According to the records, from 6.30 p.m. until uh, the She could have just finished, dragged him. Oh, wait, it's two. The oh. The elevator stopped on the second floor only once. At 8.55 p.m. The total weight detected in the elevator was approximately 310 pounds. Oh, yeah, so his 160. Oh, wait, but... Then it... Well, no, it could be her and something else. Because she's not 150, right? She's probably closer to, like, 110, 120. Hmm. Well, I know one of them is the elevator. That's how you got her... Got him up. Oh, it has to be a specific... Oh, I have to do in the order. Okay, that makes sense. So then... There'd be... Where runs you... Well, no, but... We knew he was murdered elsewhere, and his bowels were excavated, so he's a bit lighter? No. Wait, the oil drum. Empty the oil drum is 44 pounds. But plus his... Well, so that's 204, and say she's 106. That's 310 right there. And her being 106 pounds probably makes sense. So that plus Renju's weight? Yeah, because then it's that, right? Yeah. How did Iris move the core? Well then why is why did the first one go in then? Okay, well then. I feel this is one of my problems. This is what I, a problem I have with Phoenix Wright, where I feel like I'm in a mid step. Like this question is a mid step, and it's like, well, I've already reached a conclusion of where the math would probably lead me with his weight combined with the weight of the drums combined with that, but it's asking me to do something in between and asking him like, well, the elevator. It was, yeah, I already, I could have just, I, it just leads. All right. Oh, also I'm noticing this doesn't like actually stop me, which scares me now. You have to prove that Iris could have moved Renju's body. That is your current task. This will not help you accomplish that. I didn't mean to press that. I thought pressing left would bring me over there. Can I press... W oh god, it just does that. What's up with I the know watch? This watch? Yeah. It's Renju's favorite. I found it inside an oil drum at Sunfish Pocket. That means... Oh, so maybe because I found... Okay, yeah. That does show that she moved him in the drum. And that's like, but how did I get the drum upstairs and dance the elevator? Do you know what this is? It's Renju's favorite watch. This was discovered inside an empty oil drum at Sunfish Pocket. Hey, Date, I know you're on a roll right now, but could you please report things like that according to protocol? What are you trying to say? I'm saying that it wouldn't be so hard to move a body if it were in a cylinder. You would just have to roll it. Oh, true. Yeah. So you're saying Renju's body was moved inside the drum? Yeah, pop up. Which is how the watch came off. 
but the suspect didn't notice it. I'm not saying anything for sure. Just pointing out that it's possible. I you love how we're incriminating. <laughs> Just don't even have any witnesses. making guys feel if real I was sweaty. If oil drum in the middle of the street, people would have noticed. Iris is sweaty as Oda. in a car and driven it. I don't have a license. So? Doesn't mean you can't drive. Yeah. Well, even an AI can drive nowadays. Are you mocking me? Yeah, what up, Baba? Don't make sudden outbursts like that. You insulted me. Just be quiet. Um, who are you talking to? I was about to say, she, so now you look insane. Because everyone else doesn't realize you're talking to Iba. Good job. Is Iba going to pop out your head? Just to make it clear? Anyway, Iris, you weigh about 105 pounds. Yeah, right? All right. yeah, huh? Let's... Where is this coming yeah. from? Yeah. If only you weighed more. Or less. That is none of your business. No, I mean that your weight is relevant to the case. If the oil drum was used to transport the corpse, then the possibility of the suspect being around 105 pounds is extremely likely. Why do you say that? Yeah, see what I mean? It was like, I, I jumped to this part. It was like, oh, I just had to explain the transport module, not literally Haji Tao up. Why would she be on? All right. And then this is so it's going to be Renju. Oh, that goes in the middle. Oh, neat. Uh, elevator record. And the oil drum, right? Iris, on which floor is Sunfish Pocket located? On the second floor. That's right. So, I checked the elevator records. Before the corpse was discovered, the elevator only stopped at the second floor once, at 8.55 p.m. And we discovered that the total cargo weight on the elevator was about 310 pounds. Renju weighed 160. The oil drum weighs 44. Together, that's about 205. Subtracting that from 310... This doesn't look good. Why are you... Now, this <laughs> obviously doesn't prove you. Lean on him! A lot of people Lean on her, boss. pounds. Or Pressure. someone could have put 105 extra pounds in the elevator, sent it up, and taken the stairs to throw us off the trail. However... However? Date, stop. Iris is acting strange. I like that this Don't isn't the Somnium out. again. Why Wait, what? Not? Just stay put. Keep your eyes on the wall. What's she doing? There are several cameras in this room. Two surveillance cameras installed at the corners of the ceiling, and one camera on a tripod. I hacked each to gain access to their recordings. Look at this. Okay. Wait, is that... Wait, is that blood on the table? I would like She's to see the thing around. Yeah. Is she doing something under the desk? That's what it looks like. But we need to confirm something before we confront her. We need to know that she's in fact doing something under the desk. So change the angle without turning around? Yes. How would I do that? Mirror. Oh, it's the watch. From far away, it looked like a blood stain. I was like, wait, what? Ah, shit. Why'd you look, man? Oh, because she's on her phone. Who you texting, homie? Ha ha ha! Hey, Oda. Iris, what are you thinking? What is that thing? That thing, that thing, that thing. Hey, answer me, Iris. She's definitely hiding something, Date. Sync with her. Woo! 
We're gonna do a sink. We're gonna do a sink. <laughs> We're gonna get up in her brain and see that shit. Yeehaw. What you gotta hide, girl? Iris is experiencing REM sleep. Medication is working perfectly. You thought this was a game. Well, you'd be right if you didn't live in it. How about it, Dante? Think you can do it? Not a problem. Get it started. Yeah, let me mess her up, son. The time limit is six minutes. So before time is up... I know. Then, let's begin. I was wondering if I... if the um interrogation was going to replace the somnia moment so i'm happy it doesn't i was kind of i was intrigued for a second i was like oh wow is it going to be like somnium doesn't happen every time it's just a cute little ah, ah we in baby What is this place? Looks like a dank warehouse. How is this related to Iris? Unknown, but there must be a connection. Iris, what are you hiding? Kinda looks like it might be the Kabasaki district. Somnium scan, activate! This is empty as hell, so we're going straight over to that TV. Oh, this oh is it just this empty ass room yeah it is okay so this room's gonna be weird and then there's more oh wow there's four locks our right, secret sinking in the vein a mysterious room videos and a strange device you may be able to find the truth okay let me see the okay so it's two look at the blood watch the murder It's two things again. Oh, but that's just for mental lock one. Oh, hey, it's an eyeball. Can I, can I get it? What? Yes, yeah, yeah, there you go. Pop up. Happy I saw that. Okay. TV is the only thing I think I can do. A CRT TV. It's beyond that, wait, oh, I don't like those. Spin the dial? What a, what a... Stop! Iris, are you related to the original killings? this video what oh it is difficult to believe but these are the faces of the victims of the original cyclops killer oh no what what is going on here iris what are you hiding we should continue there are more objects to inspect now this room's gone a bit weird I don't think I'm going down a good route. I think I've led Date towards a dangerous way. You picked up a timey that has a negative effect. Negative timeys can multiply time or force you to use them. If you pick one up, be careful. 30 seconds. Oh, it just takes away 30 seconds. That's good. Uh, what about this torso? A torso with a head. If it has a head. Is it still called the torso? What would you call it? Ah, so it multiplies the time on everything and I'm forced to use it. So, oh wait, no, that the TV was 30. That's what it was. It's just this thing's freaking me out and I'm forced to use it. Oh, I don't like negative timings. Things got real. I think choking is supposed to be the right thing. 
Oh god, this music is horrifying. That gives me a half, but that's 90 seconds. I'm gonna choke it. Oh, it has a noose. I didn't even see that. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be letting Iba do dangerous evil things. Uh even my consciousness is being affected. While I was unconscious, the room changed. Okay. I'm tired of this. We have no choice but to investigate. That was 90 seconds. Checkpoint saved. Strangled the body. Yay. <laughs> Beat it to death. Oh, I didn't even... I wasn't even reading this. Four minutes. So, beat it to death? It's the TV again. What's happening on TV? An old television. We're running out of time. Uh, investigate. Turn to Dow. You know what? Let's... Let's investigate. It's not as scary as last it's time. The world beyond, Date. Iba. It's just static. My generation has never seen static. Right. You're only five years old. Do not measure my age on the same scale as a human's. My mental age is ten times. So you're that. fifty? Mature woman, huh? Yeah, why would you admit to being fifty if you're so mad at us being Okay. An old television. So, I'm going to half turn to dial. I assume this is going to tell me how to beat something to death. So, a rock. So somebody was watching the other person commit all these murders. I see. That video showed the face of a victim of the original Cyclops killer. It appeared to be the second victim. What is going on? Iris has something to do with the first Cyclops case? Unknown. I do not have enough information. Guess that means we have to investigate more. Indeed. Oh, we got a bit further. Oh, the more things. Drum, shelf and another torso have been added. Let's go. Okay. Um. Three minutes, Date. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm scared. I don't like this. I don't like this one. Gas canister, the doors. There's still the operating table. It says, should I just check the torso? I'm just gonna check the torso. Can I just beat it to death for a now? A torso similar to a fashion mannequin. like beat it okay that will make it so that it's only 17 seconds and again a 1-6 from it but we're punching it just okay what timey will not be used why not oh wait why won't it be used No, then. I'm not spending 130 seconds like that. Okay, so there's something else I should do then. Uh, let's check the gas canister. A common gas canister. Kick, smell, open the valve. Oh wait, it's because I'm. S oh god, I forgot I actually have to press use. The, the mu I'm. I'm freaking out. This game is actually being good at freaking me out. I need to. I need to press use. I'm. I'm. I was being stupid. Okay, let's punch it. Are you gonna punch it once? I didn't get hit, did I? There is no effect on your body, Date. I'm kind of concerned. Yeah, I'm kind of concerned about... While you were unconscious, a television and an old book appeared. 
I'm super concerned about doing destroyed. all of these acts. If my calculations are correct, it will be over soon. Let's hope you're right. Okay, so yeah, that was beat it to death. What do all of these other items do? Are they just wasting time? Is it just to get me caught up in doing stuff I don't need to do? Like, what's that medicine bottle for? An old-fashioned TV. Unless it's stuff that all builds up to here. Okay, so... Use it, and... Turned it out. I can Oh, good. Please. Help me. We get to Help shoot me. one. <laughs> That's the third victim. This was the third victim of the original Cyclops killer. Why does Iris know that? There is a possibility that she saw it online or on TV. No, not the way these are she being represented. She reproduced the circumstances of the killing. Would her imagination explain that? No, she was one Date, of the people. We have no direct evidence. For now, we must continue investigating. Mm. Right. I'm guessing there's a gun in the locker. Where's that locker? Over there. Like, does that medicine bottle give me time? That'd be great. Just a locker. We can peek. And then we can open it. I just want to be careful. Hmm. I saw light reflected for a moment. So something shiny is in some there. It's some type of metal. It's a gun. I cannot determine more. Yeah, it's a gun. Metal? Be careful, Ila. Understood. Can we die in this? What? You have less than two minutes, Doctor. Just a locker. Hurry. Yeah, no, I got it. I got it. I got it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, screw it. We're gonna open it. Oh, oh, Iba? oh, it's all right. More importantly, oh no, what did I set off? Are these actually death traps for Iba? Why did why did death rooms for Iba? Oh, that looks that looks safe. Where the hell is that going? Why is Macaulay Culkin in this Somnium? They roll so slowly. And... Up. Into the... N oh. Oh? Oh, you're not done. Oh. Oh boy. Hey, do you wanna, should we move? Can I move now? Nope. I don't think I like where that's headed. Hey, Iba, you wanna move? I, I can't move you. Would you like to move? You should move, Iba. What is, okay, I never got the medicine. What the fuck did I set off? This is the crazy- Oh, hey, I shot a gun. And I killed the one in the mirror. Okay, we- I- I- That is- Somehow! <laughs> oh, hey, Date. Huh. Who would have guessed? She's not even real, bro.
it's fine. But she is, technically, she's my eyeball. I don't know what happens when your eyeball explodes in the Somnium. What if it explodes in my eye socket? Gumai. Good job, everybody. Great work. I can't get another what head. What Somnium? The thing blows up in your eye. We saw it too. The four murdered women are without a doubt the victims of the original Cyclops series. Did you see the reflection? I hope you didn't. That means... Super hope you didn't see that reflection. The murders that occurred six years ago are these memory fragments that coalesced in this Somnium. No. That means the person who killed them was... Well, on that beautiful, beautiful news, uh, I'm going to open this flowchart and see where we've been taken. Where we go. I want to see a bunch of... Oh, oh, it goes so far off to the side. Oh, I can already tell there's some shit that probably drops down from there. Except, hey, hi, hello. Yeah. Oh, this is going to go in some interesting paths. So we're up here. But it can also go down there. So it's actually, it seems to only be two. But I feel like this is, well, if I zoom into that. Okay, so that's what these are. Reopen, begin. And then that's where I just was. Begin psych. Oh, sync. Whoops. Move section. Okay, so you can move through this. This is very nice. This is a nice way to move stuff through. Leads open, yeah. Undiscovered, so that's the one that I didn't go to, that's the other path. Which I guess I get from hitting the TV instead of turning the dial. Like these all seem to go down just like straight, but I feel like this could secretly open something up. I could be super wrong, but yeah. Also, those are the two things that I got. Those are the Iris A and the Iris B, I think. So nice. Um, cool. We're, we're going somewhere. We're headed somewhere. I'm going to save. 